Our next topic is documentation. According to the director Steven Spielberg, people have forgotten how to tell a story. Stories no longer have a middle or an end. They usually have a beginning that never stops beginning. It's the same with documentation, regardless of whether it refers, refers to the data set or the project itself. There should always be a concrete beginning, middle and end. What did we aim to do? What did we actually do? And what did we achieve? Documenting accuracy, precision and errors in data is essential if users are to be able to determine the quality of those data for their purposes. And good documentation should include a title, which should be descriptive, memorable and if possible unique. Dates are good to include in a data set name as they allow you to track back versions. A narrative. This should describe the rationale for the creation of the data set and it should include general information about the scope of the data set. For example, taxonomic coverage or geographical coverage. Source information is important. If you did not collect or measure the data yourself, who did? Where did you get it from? Lineage. Does the data set have a history? Have any of the fields been transformed before you got the data? A statement of accuracy. Using the concepts we've discussed in the previous section, you should be able to document uncertainty, errors, accuracy and precision for your data. And that will allow the user to know exactly what they can and cannot do with your data set. Also, dates and life expectancy. When will it be available? How long will it be valid for? And when, if ever, will it be updated? You should also include definitions of fields and also whether each field has been transformed and what its format should be. You should tell the user about collection methodologies, if there are any, to avoid bias in further use. Were there protocols that were set and that have been used elsewhere? You should include, as far as possible, a statement of completeness. What is missing from your data and why is it missing? On top of that, conditions of use and constraints. Where and how can the data be used? For most portals, and GBIF projects in particular, data must have a very open use policy. So understanding the requirements of data owners for their data will help you publish. Lastly, custo lastly custo custodianship and contact information is important. You should always be able to track back the person or institution who own or are responsible for the data set. There should also, if possible, be a technical contact who can help you understand the publication process for the data set. To be precise, what we're talking about is metadata. And metadata is data about the data, not the numbers or measurements themselves. And it should be rich enough to allow the use and reuse by a third party without necessarily having to refer to the source. 